Hello there and welcome back again everyone. It's time to figure out what the hell I'm going to do for a cockpit here. Fill out the bottom portion of the ship and then the central body I think is all but complete. And then we can move on to getting the final touches in and hopefully this will be the proudest addition of my fleet. Here's hoping because I am really liking the potential of this look. So I was struggling with this front here about possibly getting like a cockpit component there but I realize maybe that's probably not the best idea to try and put in the straight in the front there in fact I'm thinking maybe that might be better to kind of like hold pu pull it back some there and kind of have it like hanging back here some I'm not sure I may have to remove that component because making this longer it theory could be okay I'm not quite sure because I feel like the, trying to get the command cockpit on the front there is fruitless but we'll have to throw a couple extra components in if I'm going to do that. Also I had a bit of an idea maybe just putting the command center way back here which I don't know if I'm fond with or not to be honest. But let's try it. Let's try it quickly and see if I can make this work in a way that that makes sense. Because it kind of needs to be narrower. Pretty narrow but long to kind of like embody a good portion of this ship there. I just don't know where exactly I would want it. Because there's a lot of potential spots. I like it more in the front because it seems like it's more aggressive. It gives a lot more aggressive posture at least. I'm just going to have to fill this bald... Ball this bald spot here was something which I can do. There are already options I have in mine. I just don't know if I like the idea of having two of these components so close, similar components so close to each other because it kind of ruins the illusion to an extent. Also, I managed to turn on gizmos, but I found out about that recently there, but I'm not sure if, if I'm going to utilize it very well or not. It remains to be seen. Because I like the idea of just getting the specific numbers for the sake of getting precise positioning. But I'll fall around around with it some. To at least get the big drastic changes out of the way. A little more simpler. A little more simple. Well, make it a little more simple at least. And at the, if nothing else, putting this capone here matches up with how my bandits, my raiders, and a lot of my other ships have been. With a little bit of like clamp-like components kind of overlapping. So this may not be too terribly bad. I just got to make sure it doesn't look so s small. Because the textures are way, quite frankly, too small to my liking. So if I were to do this, how would it look? Does that even do anything? Probably not because there's still a spot. So maybe that's the wrong component. And again... Don't really want to make it too big because then it looks it match it looks it stands out as from this component here to an extent. So I'm wondering if there's something else. What else can I throw on here? Because that's a starbase component for some reason. I don't know why it's under the small arc size archetype. That baffles my mind a little bit because that seems like it's meant for the wrong type of ship. So how do I fill this out? Something blocky is good, but I need some. Something blocky is definitely a good way to start, so. I still have to decide if I want the command center to be in the middle or not, because. There's something I don't like about having it there. I would like it more in the front. I'm just not quite certain if. Well, I like it more in the front, because. This is pretty flat, and I know I'm going to put something here to kind of like make it smoother, a little more circular. Regardless of where the command center is there, so. Is it. Because, eh. Is that the command center I want, or is there some way I could throw another component on there? Because there really isn't a lot of other cockpit areas, is there? That I could tell at least. Which is probably why I use this component a lot, to be perfectly honest. That could explain it to an extent. So we'll try this again. I'm not going to have it stick it as far forward this time. 
because I'm going to just use other components to maybe fill it out. And what I'm going to do is use this component. Let's see. Let me try stretching this upwards, see how that works. Of course, it's attached to that component, so that probably didn't work very well. But that's okay. We'll sink it in there some. And it still could use a lot of work, needless to say. That's what it feels like. Unless this could take up a good portion of the front, because that, that flat portion is not exactly ideal, but I can maybe work with that. Because it fits relatively well where it is now, so that I'm okay with. Not perfectly flush though, but... Yeah, I think I could work with this. I just gotta do... S I need a diff... All I need is like a different texture on top. I don't even need so much as a new component. I just need a different texture. It's really all I think I want. If I'm gonna stick with that in the front. So, let me play with this a bit here. I'm gonna flatten this down quite tremendously and just really wind it. See if that can do it for me or not. Remains to be seen, this is still going to require some experimentation, but I'm really hoping I can get this figured out without wasting a video or two just fixate on this one command center area. But that seems to be my biggest gripe. I'm just not entirely certain the best way to deal with it, as I mentioned, but I have a few ideas still. And I might have to invert the skin, which, quite frankly, may not help very much. If there was like a very tiny curve to it, that might be okay. Which kind of makes me wonder if I want to start rotating upwards some, in fact. Is there a way I can make this work in a clever sense? That helps a little. Again, it covers up most of that front portion, but what happens if I move it all the way forward? Do I need another component? This seems silly, but... We saw my hassle for trying to get it to fit flushly up on top there. I have to risk making it too big, possibly. And, that continu and with how it sticks out on the side, kind of ruins it to an extent, so I don't want to do that. So, I'm still not sure if that's good ideal or not. What I think, I still need to put more components on the side to kind of help make it flush. I think... Or make it seem more natural. That's what I'm going to do next. So let's get ourselves some copies. No, that's animation. I do not want that. I'm going to see about maybe using these to kind of connect to the side. Because they have lighting. Which goes with like the command center. Command center kind of seam, essentially. Let me just make it longer. I'm not really using the gizmos. if As I should, probably would be experimenting with. But hey. I've been so ingrained using the regular scaling. This probably will be a bit of a growing process. And that actually fits in there quite nicely, so... I stretch out even more, I think. Not too ridiculous to the point that it's actually sticking on the back. And try and fill it out. And what happens if I move it in more? Hmm. Don't know if I like that too much. But I can fix that. I can fix that by giving it more thickness. To the point that it could completely cover over that side, which might be okay. Let's see. How does that look? That looks better. I will admit that looks better. Well, now can we take it to another step? What happens if I make it go all the way up forward? Lane's going to be a bit of a problem because now it's getting ridiculously stretched. But I think we're on to something finally. Still need to play with the positions a bit, but hell, it kind of works because we got more clamps there, which kind of works with how this front entire front thing is. There's still this blocky region, which honestly, I think. I am ready to do one more, and I think this can work. I think I can make this work. 
I may have to turn off gizmos now because it's actually blo blocking my vision a little bit. And I said I turned it off. It's still there. I'm sorry to say it's still there. I don't know why it's still there because I... Okay, there. Problem solved. I think I know what... Oops. Stop doing that. I'm just clicking haphazardly now for no reason. It's ruining what I was going to do. So, I think this can work if I do this right. Especially now that I have the side components to kind of blend with it. I think this can work, so I'm going to try to fill this component into that section there somehow. I need the right length, though, which means it looks like it needs to get rotated. Try and get it up there. It doesn't have to cover the entire thing. It just needs to reach that length and kind of not make it look flat. That's really all I want out of this. It's not to have it look flat. Rotate a tiny one degree rotation is what we need here. And try to find that sweet spot. Because again, don't want the engines to show if at all possible. That seems okay. What happens if I invert the skin? That technically looks better. Now, do I make it wider? I can make it taller easily enough. What about wider? Hmm. If I make it wider, can it go for more flush underneath that command center without ruining it? That's what I'm curious about. This... I'm getting close. I feel like I'm getting close. And hell, it's about... Ooh. If I could somehow get one more little tiny lighting piece there, that could do it. Although, that's asking... That's a tall order to try to ask for such a precise compo lighting component, though. That would really be nice. Because that fits really nicely to form. Again, we're still dealing with a block here, but that fits nicely to form. To an extent... There could be some more tweaks that I might want to do, but considering the circumstances, I think I'm okay with it. Now, what if, I'm curious, what happens if I invert the skin of this back piece? Hmm, that doesn't, that sticks out like a sore thumb a little bit. So, now we just gotta focus on the central body portion. Try and get this a little more c of a curve to it. Hmm, so what's a good way to start with that? I think, first off, I'm going to get rid of this damn component. I don't think I want it now. Because we're going to be replacing that or covering over it soon. So, what are good options here? I had... Oh, there it is. I had this one component here I had in mind, maybe. Which is kind of similar to the bomb component, which almost makes me want to put it in a mirrored spot. Or even make a copy of it all together. Come to think of it, how would that look if I make a copy? Well, first off, I don't see it to begin with. So, that's very helpful. Yeah, the mirror's like inside the ship, so that's not going to work out. Never mind that thought, folks. That was a dumb idea. Now, if I'm going to put this anywhere, where would I like it? I kind of like it in the back, to be honest. It helps cover over some of this obstructions a bit. It has the curve. I need to be very careful of those tips there sticking out. So, do I invert it? Would that be a better idea? I think I do. To be perfectly honest. I think I actually do. It adds... It focuses more on the engines in the back there. The trick is figuring out the proper position because lighting is a bit of an issue trying to figure out what's ideal. So let's play around with this a little bit because I like this. That looks good to form there. I don't know if, if there's any other scaling I need to do. I don't think I need to actually. I think we're good as is with that component. Now to add a little bit more to it, which almost, almost makes me want to make this component larger to fit to it. Is that a good idea? 
It's 100. Let me try and remember that. Yeah, that may not be the best idea because the, the actual... I somehow, apparently, connected this component to it, so... Maybe I was not thinking this through. So, I gotta remember where the hell this was. Which, I honestly don't remember, but I guess it's okay. Because I think we're still good regardless. And then helps fill it out some. With a little bit of room to throw something else in those little crevices there. Some circular objects, which... I'm okay with. Is there anything in particular I want to throw on there is the only question. That I'm not really certain of. Because I could put these components in here to have a little bit of an energy lighting come out of them. And fit them in. That would be simple enough. But what's this other component though? It's pretty much the same thing. That looks more like something that fits with a generator though. So I think I like the first option more. So we'll try that. We'll put that into place. Let me turn gizmos back on. Hopefully it doesn't intrude too much. Yeah, I can adjust it easily enough. It's just a matter of finding the specific measurements. And of course with the block bigger than the actual object, that's not exactly ideal. So this is my first complaint with the gizmos. I just learned about them reading comics that comments there on one of my older videos, of course. It was something you'd figure I would have learned by now, but this is kind of annoying, isn't it? It's distracting anyway, if there was a way to make that just a lot smaller. Okay, why is this not working? Okay, thank you, that's better. Might, might be more trouble than it's worth, I'm not sure yet. It might be good for bigger components, but again, precise components, maybe not so much. So, let me get this in a proper place. I almost want to make this narrower, but keep the length. I think that might be okay. And then I can rotate to kind of get a more seamless fit, possibly. Although it is one degree axis, so that could be problematic. And does it look weird with it being narrow, like, kind of like... Not sir perfectly uh, symmetrical, I guess is the proper term. Does it make it look odd, I wonder? Hopefully not. So, let me get a copy of that. That seems okay there now. Does it need to stick out more? Does it need to stick out more? Because I can easily adjust. Make it longer. I can even invert it. Which actually helps it to blend in a bit more, I think. And I think that works good. I like that. I really do like that there. We still gotta work. I need... The only thing, as far as the set top central body is concerned, is something to connect this point here. That's got the bluish color, so that way it doesn't seem like such a rough transition. So... What are my ideas for that? We have this component here, which I cannot actually see, so I'm left to wonder if this can work or not. It's a simple, sing long piece, but I don't know if it's ideal or not. And uh, it's easy enough to make longer. Is it going to fill out what I'm looking for, though? Or maybe I invert it. Flip it around that way and connect it to the back piece. Maybe that'll work better. Because that's a big blockier portion. And then it can just go right into the center body. Maybe. And that looks... Aside for possible texture issues, that seems okay. Just need a little bit more of a fluid uh, connection. And I think I got an easy fix for that. Let's try and see... Hell, do I even want to invert it? No, I don't think I want to invert it. Unless I do it a certain way. But we'll connect it in. We'll wind it. So that way it engulfs the piece that it's trying to connect to. Oops, these are wrong axes. Now the texture is a little bit too long. That's a bit of a problem. Or too big, rather. So that's a concern there. 
So, if I do like this, how does that look? That seems okay, that seems natural. It looks natural. Is it ideal though? Which would look better? If I do like this, I feel like there needs to be this tiny little cosmetic piece on top here. I don't think I meant this tiny, but it could work. What the hell is even this component? Oh. Apparently there's searchlights. Which seems really pointless on a cap huge scale ships. This might be it might be more ideal on a fighter, but not so much a huge scale ship. I take that back. That was the component I used earlier. What is this seems okay. I have no clue what it is though, mind you, but it seems like it could work. Hmm. I just don't know what I'm trying to aim for exactly. Because this doesn't really have a curve to it, so... Unless I just have it just the very top showing, then that could look like a connection of sorts. I don't know what I'm aiming for exactly. But that seems okay. It stretched a bit, I'm noticing, but do I want it this way or... For the sake of the texture, do I want it this way or the other way? Oops, that was not a good idea. I accidentally lowered it in, so... That actually helps. That helps a little bit there. But did, is, am I done with the body or not? Because we got a lot of metal here that seems like it should be... Need little cosmetic things to kind of like... Mute it a little bit, is that the proper artistic term? Because the metal is kind of dominant here on the side, considering a lot of the body is bluish. But I think those are final touches. And I think now I want to get rid of this component here. I feel in that. And now let's get to work finally on the bottom. There may not be very much that needs to be done, although you can clearly see openings and gaps and such. Again, my concern with the lighting still prev is still there. It's impossible to really tell what the hell I'm doing. And I don't like it, and it's going to be frustrating, needless to say. Unless... Do I use the saucer section to kind of help fill that out? It gives lighting on the bottom there. Or do I invert it? What does it look like if it's inverted? I forget. That looks a little more natural, maybe. Oops, it helps if I don't use the wrong axis. So, I have no idea what to expect here. So bear with me, again, it's the shading is not really prevalent, so it's going to be incredibly, incredibly difficult to tell how this works. So I'm not sure what to honestly expect. I don't think I want that long because I think I can get away from our component there. Ooh, I see potential maybe if it's the right length it could look like it's overshadowing the power core. That's maybe sort of an engineering bay. I just gotta figure out where my saucer piece is at in this mess of components. Which is kind of funny because I don't know where it's at. I kind of have to think out where did I build components on the back. Uh, okay, there it is. I found it. Oh boy, that took a lot longer than I need to, I, see, I feel like. So, if I make it long enough, long enough, it can look like it's overlooking that region, maybe. It might have to be up, raised up a tiny bit, so it's not overlapping the components, or covering over the components I have there. And if I infer it, does that even do anything that I can notice? I am kind of left to wonder, alas, which really sucks. This is going to be suck. As far as trying to make the ship look solid, look be a complete design, this does not really work very well for me. Because it looks like an ominous black spot with no texture at all to it. And I don't like that thought. So apparently I've learned 
if you're gonna make a ship you in this game you're gonna have to no choice but to build from the state ground up <laughs> almost essentially so I build from the bottom and then worry about the top and that later on that's the feeling I'm getting that's the feeling I'm getting I'm just not sure if well this looks better I think because yeah it actually has blue lane this actually looks better the circular yellow lane though not so much now can I make at least okay that looks better again engineering section that looks like an actual station of some kind where it gets visual of everything that's going on with the power core maybe I just gotta get rid of this block now because I don't think I need it and now the big problem is what spots are not completely filled out like this section here is not perfect I could easily fix that but maybe adjusting the scaling or even its positioning in theory in theory I could do that uh, it's, it gets rid of all the yellow generator I was damn it uh, I shouldn't have turned off proportional scaling now I have no idea what the scaling was before that may have been a mess screw up I may have screwed that up real good not that it matters too much again with no idea what the light is like I can only guess it still doesn't look too bad to be honest still a question of how the scaling works or the the textures and coloring works and the cameras bugging out on me this we're making progress though we're making progress this is just probably the more annoying part of this this ship design so I'm left to guess a little bit I have to fill some components here which actually is not e really difficult because I got a component that almost perfectly fits in there you could say and actually will help make it look a little more natural maybe I might need to rotate a bit so we have the components inside so it or rather doesn't mess with the lane as much hopefully hopefully there that works good I could almost change make it longer to an extent and then adjust it so it doesn't intrude the lane as much and then make a copy of it there that was nice and simple wasn't it although looking at the sides there's still more work it looks like I need on this on the top isn't there so maybe we're not quite done yet I'm not afraid to admit that but we are making progress still and the closer we get to completing this thing the more I excited I get and to be honest now that yeah now that all those components are there having the blue there actually makes it works well it's it seemed promising before with all the silver but now I'm okay with it and these flowing doodads components might as well go let me get rid of these flowing components what the hell are they attached to okay I was clicking on the wrong component that explains it so it's hard to really say how the bottom is looking there's still I'll have to readjust these very back pieces some the top still needs a little bit of refining but I'm liking the potential and sadly that lighting is showing again I was hoping to be rid of that I may have to try rotating some more because yeah that lane is not exactly ideal uh, good thing I caught that now maybe it's too sick or something I'm not sure because there is a bit of textures that get in the way so and that's the wrong components silly me just because it looks the same does not mean it's actually the same component stupid me I should have knew that by now now let me just fix with this a little more and I think that actually helped it some more I could do a little more rotation though just to be sure like rotate inward like this almost change the skin it's hard to say 
there's still a lot of work to be done with this thing. But, like I said before, I'm getting excited now. Slow and steady, we're making this thing real. <laughs> 